So as you can see, we've taken the battery out of the box. It's a US 2000C Parlantec battery. It's a lot of thin battery than the other one, the US 3000Cs. Um, because these are 2.4 kilowatts and the um, US 3000C is a 3.5 kilowatts, so they're the heavy duty ones. So as you can see, we, we can open the packet. Oh. Obviously we'll explain what these are, so obviously these are your positive terminals in there, your negative terminals there, you've got your ports there, um, it's basically linked to your inverter. Um, most people use a year can port, and um, we can see in the middle, and um, the RS485 are just basically a different protocol. The console port and the contact are just for diagnosis really, and um, fault finding, and obviously um, connecting to an application where you can monitor the battery. Um, charging stuff like that so obviously the the ones in the middle are the main parts which the battery BMS users will communicate with and um, as you can see you've got six lights at the bottom and um, you've got an alarm light you've got an SW light on off switch and um, you've got an address dip switch as well there don't worry about them really you only really use them using RS 485 to set a different address for each battery and um, because we're using CAN which is a normal um, interface that people use and um, we shouldn't have to worry about that. Within the factory that comes switched off as you can tell um, and then um, this one in the corner is the actual earth one as well and um, so obviously the way we set it up we put our air can uh, in the middle our can bus we connect our plus and minuses together from the other battery um, and then make sure they're obviously all connected solidly and um, obviously this battery is going to be the top of our stack so we're going to have our positive inverter lead connected to one of these positive poles the negative lead from the inverter will be connected to the last battery which is the bottom of the stack and to the negative terminal the other two minus and plus are used just to connect the other batteries up to this particular battery so this can be used in parallel with each other and um, as you can see pretty straightforward and um, once you all set it all up like if you watch my other videos you'll see you can actually see how we all set them all up and um, you press the SW light um, after you've turned it all, all the batteries on and basically if everything's connected together properly these five lights here will flash all together and then the next battery will flash the five lights etc etc so that way you know they're all connected together so and um, this is the way you set it all up and then um, thank you for watching my video please subscribe and i'll be making more videos soon thank you bye